One of the cool things about the Dynamixo motor is that you can use it as a standard servo or a continuous servo. Now by factory default it comes in what is called joint mode which allows for 300 degrees of rotation so acting as your standard servo. However you could also change it to act as a continuous servo which is known as wheel mode. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change from the standard from the standard joint mode to the wheel mode. Let's get started. Let's jump to the IDE. So you can see that I've already ha imported the library and started the void setup and loop function and I've already outlined the steps that we need to take. So first in order to change it from joint mode to wheel mode we have to play around with the registers and in this case it's going to be register 3. Now by default uh, register 3 has a value of 1023 but we're going to change it to 0 and this is going to allow us to have continuous rotation and to do that we'll work with the set register function as always. So do your set register to function and your ID of your motor. And in this case we're gonna do register three, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the predefined variable. And we're gonna set it to a value of zero. Then we'll delay it for one second. Now to set the speed and the direction of your rotation, uh, you're going to mess around with register number 38. So if you want a counterclockwise rotation, you're going to set a value on register 38 from 0 to 1023. 0 being the lowest, which will make the motor stop, and 23 being the fastest rotation. Again, for uh, clockwise it's similar. 1024 is going to be your slowest so stopping and 2047 for your fastest rotation in the counterclockwise direction. So in our program we're going to write a program to first uh, spin it in a counterclockwise direction. So we'll go ahead and use the AX12 register 2 function again. I'm just going to copy and paste it. So the ID and I'm using the variable again for register 38 and then first I'm gonna set it to a value of 1023 giving it the fastest rotation and then we'll go ahead and delay for maybe two and a half seconds and then we'll do the same thing but we'll slow it down a bit just to see what it looks like so to slow it down we'll slow it down maybe half speed and then we'll We'll stop it and then we'll make it rotate in the clockwise direction. So I'll go ahead and copy all of this. And so this is going to be your clockwise rotation. And then we'll start with the highest as usual. So it's going to be 2047. Uh, somewhere in between, so maybe 1500, then 1024 to stop it. Okay, let's go ahead and check our code. Okay, our code looks good. Before we upload it, let's take a quick overview as to what our code is go going to do. First, we're going to change it to wheel mode by changing register 3. Then in the void loop, we're going to set it to spin in a counterclockwise direction at full speed and then delay for two and a half seconds, then half speed, then zero, which is stop. And then it's going to rotate in the clockwise direction at full speed, half speed, and then stop. Okay, let's upload and see what happens. <laughs> 